Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. And uh, like the title says, we're going to change this crystal out for a double dome AR coded crystal with a surprise, surprise. And uh, before we get to that, uh, I may. I may have a, a difficulty uploading videos in the next couple of days because we have a legit hurricane that's bearing down on us, as you see here. Yeah, the the, the tra trajectory doesn't look good. Uh, it is currently a Category 3 with winds of 125 miles an hour and up. So hopefully it uh, gets weakened by the time it gets to us and uh, hopefully it completely misses us. But uh, yeah, so we've been preparing and... Uh, Hoping for the best. Anyway, I have pre-loosened this case back to save time, and this thing was an SLB. That thing was so tough, I could not use my case back removal tool by itself. Um, this is actually a pretty good one. It's it's inexpensive, and uh, I'll put a link in it in the about section below if you want to check this out. It's not the best one, but uh, it's got a good price, and uh, it works for me. So I actually have to get this case back removal block, and um, I put a little rag under it. But uh, this this worked really good, um, as long as you put the the cut side towards the watch, just tightened it down really snugly, and uh, I could get the case back removal tool to uh, have enough leverage to to uh, to undo the case back. So now we're gonna um, we're going to remove the aforementioned case back. And we're gonna see how to take out this movement. We use the ball of ballery here, and uh, the ball of ballery is not balling. It's not a baller. There you go. So we're gonna try to be careful this time, Kurt. We're gonna try to be careful. Don't be a squid. Let's try to be careful. Let's do things properly. Unlike the last video, maybe you have learned from your mistakes. Maybe not. We'll see. But. Uh, just just be very very careful very careful good all right well would you just look at that that is the uh, that is the 4R36A movement there yeah look at that a rare sighting indeed for me anyway it looks like somebody that put this together kind of like touched it and stuff it's pretty grody so where is the release mechanism oh it's just like the 7S26 so i will do a I will go ahead and unscrew the crown first. And uh, by the way, this is uh, if you're wondering about the the water resistance after I do this, I'm not sure. I do know that these crystals are very high quality and uh, should should pass pressure tests. So the crown and stem has been removed. And uh, this movement might, uh, uh, I don't know, would it fall out like the last one? No, so I'm going to have to probably give it a little tap. Nope, that one, that one is in there good. So let me figure out how to safely remove this movement and I'll be back. <laughs> All right, all I had to do is like just I just went a screwdriver and I just there's a little there's a little uh, flap here right there. I just gently pulled it up so uh, it should it should pop out really easily now. So I'm gonna just do this. This is something that I should have done a long time ago. I'm gonna do it this way. So there you go. Boom. That that was much better than the way I did it before. Close it up like that. Okay, so. There it is. We got the uh, movement out, and now supposedly this crystal should pop right through without having to move, uh, remove the bezel. So we're going to uh, we're going to try that. We're going to try that and see what happens. We're going to find the right thing of schmackle. <sighs> this these these things make a lot of crap pop out. So we'll find the right one. Nope, that's not the right one. This one. Uh... That one, that one might be the right one. Let's try this one. And that one's gonna get stucky stuck. And so, yeah. So this is this is the this is the one. This is that is the one. That is the one that we're gonna use. And we're gonna. Where's the thing? This. There needs to be bigger ones of these. Uh, this is just not big enough for this this large watch. So I'm gonna put a little 
rag underneath this just to make sure it stays oh stays nice and good the crown all the way and then we're gonna put it underneath the thing will it reach here we go boom that was super easy jeez would you just look at how thick this thing is dang that is thicky McThickers. Come on, focus, sport focus. There you go. That that is a that is a substantial crystal. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then uh, now we're going to try to get the other one out. Oh, let me just uh, let me just give it a little bit of a blow job here. Blow it all all nice and good. You don't want dust in there after you put the crystal. Uh, I think the the gasket is still in there. It appears the gasket is still in there. And uh, I'm going to put on some rubber gloves. Because the finger ones I had, I lost. And I should get more. But for now, we're just going to use... Rubber gloves, surgical style, rubber gloves, and uh, we're going to bust out this crystal. It's pretty sweet. And, uh, just get it all nice and uh, nice and lined up here. Uh, I'm going to line it up really nicely here. Let's see. Now, one really awesome thing about this particular crystal is that this has a laser etched turtle in it. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? There you go. You see that little laser etched turtle? <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's that. I think that's so awesome. I'll try to get better, uh, better photos of that later. If you look at my Instagram, uh, we'll, we'll try to get some better photos of that. And. Uh, yeah, I'll get. I'll try to get that nice and in there. Uh, wow, that. Uh, okay, so we're going to try to put that on now. It might be easy. It might be difficult. So one thing is for sure, I might have to stop the video as usual because it might just take ridiculously long to to get that done. But let's find a good size for this. That is probably good. That's perfect. And all kinds of noises in the background. If you heard that, sorry, this video is boring. Like I am not like I, I, I'm. I have all, so many things in my mind. That hurricane is on my mind, and I'm very tired because I've been working a lot, and I've been. And uh, okay, so let's let's just see. Make sure that the crystal is indeed centered all the way around. All right, and this this uh, this thing is not centered. So, let's give it a go, shall we? This uh, die is not there. There you go. And we're squeezing, guys. We're squeezing. And stop making noise, Mr. Phone. We are squeezing with squeezers. Okay, well. Ah, that didn't go in as planned. But uh, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to pop it up. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna uh, try to pop this out. It didn't, it didn't go quite in there. Uh, actually, I might just have to put press it. So I'm gonna press, press it in a little bit more, and I'll be back. All right, guys, I got the movement back in. I kind of had a fail. I didn't press record on it, and I already got the movement back in. But it basically reversed the process, and uh, I use a screwdriver to carefully press down on the edge of the, of the ring here, and it got it in. So uh, crystals all in good. It's uh, dust free, at least I think it is. Got the gasket back on the uh, case back. We're going to put that back on here right now. Very carefully, we're going to put that back on. And uh, use the, the ball of, the green ball of spinnery. And then uh, get that back on. And I will tighten this case back later. And uh, Oh yeah! Oh, dude, dude, are you serious? Okay, so I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the straps back on first. <laughs> oh man, this thing is so rad. 
Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this thing, you guys. This is this is pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked on this. And uh, yeah, it's not that difficult of a mod to do. I mean, it, it seems like it's like uh, a super horrendous thing, but as long as you got the right tools, patience, and a little bit of uh, ingenuity. Uh, yeah, you, you you can do this stuff too. Let me just clean this stuff up here. Just clean. All right, so here we go. There is the finished product, the Seiko SRP775, now with an AR coated double dome. Don't you just look at that dome right there? It's not too gnarly, and uh, it's not uh, it's not super gnarly, but it's, it's just right to me. And uh, it just, it just, it definitely adds to this watch. It's super, super nice now. And uh, this crystal, I'm not sure how much this crystal costs. I just got a whole bunch of them. But um, yeah, what do you guys think about this, huh? I, even though it's on this, my weirdo strap. I love this weirdo strap because it just, to me, it's like, I don't care. It's like whatevs, you know. It's I love this weirdo, weirdo strap on this watch. So they put it on my wrist, and uh, gosh, <laughs> I am super addicted to changing all the crystals. Uh, yeah. Oh man, that looks sweet. Doesn't it look super sweet, guys? Yeah. You can see my um my light box there. <laughs> Uh, so, what do you guys think about that? Yes or no? Anyway, yes or no? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.